Well, I'm back again to piss somebody off, of course. Um, that's a little story time. Back in 2009, I used to work in a shipyard that worked on an LPD. I'm not for sure how much I can say about this and not get in trouble, so I'm going to walk around. If I walk around, then get the fuck over it. Well, anyway, it was this lady. Fine-ass lady. Goddamn, she was fine. She was in her 50s, and I was in my 30s. And every morning, we'd probably meet up about the beginning of the ship. I don't know the front, back, what... Just get the fuck over it and listen to it. So she'd be up there and she'd have a 60 pound tool bag, just like me. She was a welder. I wasn't. I was a tacker and electrician. So she carried this heavy ass fucking bag and set it on the, um, I guess the deck. Cause you wasn't in the ship, but it was this fucking walkway we walked up and we stood on in order to walk into the ship. I don't know what the hell they called it, but anyway. She set this motherfucking bag there, and I seen her, and I started talking to her. Only reason why I was talking to her, because I want to fuck her. That's it. I wouldn't even have talked to her, because I'm not that kind of person. If I ain't interested in you, I don't want to talk to you. But anyway, she set the fucking bag there, and we get to chit-chatting, and this black dude picks up the bag. And she's black. No big deal. He'd pick up the bag. And we would walk forward, or it would be aft of the be of the ship, because we're walking towards the back of the ship, but forward to us. And this man, young man, he was probably my age, would pick the bag up, and he'd carry it with her, and he would drop it wherever he was going, the direction he was going, and we'd sit there and we'd still be keep talking and shit, and probably five, ten minutes go by, another motherfucker pick up this bag. And carry it so far and set it back down for her. And then he would go on his way. And I'm like, well, goddamn, what the fuck are you doing? So I get to talking to her. I said, man, what are you doing fucking these guys? She said, no, nah, not at all. I said, I don't get nothing to them. They just do it and, and I let them. And you don't offer them? Nope. It, they pick it up if they want and they go on their way and drop it off. And <laughs> I just let them do it till I get where I'm going. So, and by this time, somebody else hadn't picked it up, and we're in the middle of the ship. Now, mind you, this ship, front to back, I think is 550 foot, I think it was. 550 foot, and the widest part at the top was 300 foot, I think. Some shit like that, I can't remember. So, as we were talking, this other motherfucker picks it up. Now, me and her work in kind of the same area, in the back of the boat. But she works kind of on the upper deck above me, and my office and everything is down at the bottom, down in the um, engine room. So by this time, fucking 40 minutes went by that we've went from the front of the boat to the back of the boat. And some motherfucker has carried this bag, 60-pound bag full of welding shit, welding lead, welding rods, welding can, fucking... um. Her welding hood, her gloves, the leathers for the welding. I mean, this is a heavy motherfucking bag because I got one identical to it. So I know what the fuck's in it. It's heavy. And by the, by the 40 minutes was up, she was at the very end of the boat, or pretty damn close to it, not too far from Shaft Alley. And when she got to where nobody else would carry it, she'd pick that motherfucker up and go on her way and take it to whatever section she was in. That ain't the fucked up part. This went on for fucking two weeks because I was trying to fuck this lady. So every day, same goddamn time, different person. Every fucking day, it was a different man that picked up this fucking bag and carried it back that way because that's where she was working. And I followed her every fucking day and it was a fucking trip. I could not believe it. And I fucking, I don't know if it was respect or if they were thinking they were trying to fuck her. I don't know what it was, but it was a fucking trip that they did it. And she let them, and nothing ever came about it. I'm like, God damn, I wish I could find somebody to carry my motherfucking heavy-ass bag shit. <laughs> but it was a fucking trip.